What's happening guys? So today I want to talk about how often you should eat protein for the most maximum gains. Alright guys, so I'm going to talk about meal frequency in terms of protein to try to get the most out of your protein, but I want to say something before I get into this, and that is, if you have no clue how much protein you're eating a day, if you have no clue how many calories you're eating, if you don't know any of this stuff, this video is kind of a waste of time for you. Don't major in the minors, alright? I'm not saying that meal frequency doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter nearly as much as some of the more important things. So, I mean, when you think, when you think about kind of in terms of importance of your diet, so way at the top you've got... Well, first of all, you've got adherence to your plan and sustainability. That's number one, all right? And then below that, you got total calories. And then below that, your macros. More specifically, I would say protein being the most important. And then your macros. Then your micros. Then you've got meal frequency and meal timing. Then you've got supplements. Get it? <laughs> so, make sure you've got that other stuff down first. If you can't adhere to your diet, if you have no clue how much you're eating, Focusing on meal frequency is a, is a huge waste of your time. Now, just because it's not as important as the big things doesn't mean it means nothing whatsoever either. And I think there is a way that we can eat to kind of make sure that we're maximally taking advantage of increases in protein synthesis to not only build muscle, but maintain in a caloric deficit. So before I get into that, one thing we know is leucine is a huge part of increases in protein synthesis. We know it's vital, all right? So the leucine content of your food matters, all right? So just protein in general isn't necessarily enough. We, we almost wanna know how much leucine is in each of our food sources. So if you think about some of the more popular, higher protein foods that actually have a decent amount of leucine in it, each different food, you're gonna have to eat different amounts to, he, to hit that leucine threshold, which is right around three grams for to get that maximal increase in muscle protein synthesis, all right? That's gonna get you kind of your max anabolic response from a meal, so around three grams. So, three grams of leucine from like eggs is like 35 grams of protein, whereas from chicken, it's around 40. Beef is just a hair below that, I believe. You know, whey protein is somewhere around like 25. So, not all protein is created, is created equal. So, it, it matters what the source is, but that's really kind of getting ahead of myself. I really just kind of want to concentrate on the actual frequency and how we can take advantage of hitting these leucine thresholds and, and maximizing these meals. Now, there was a study done back around the early 2000s that actually infused amino acids into humans for six hours and kind of took a look at the increase in protein synthesis and what happened during this time. Because you would think if you just keep getting infused, that'd be anabolic as hell, right? Six hours of nothing but protein or, or amino acids gains, baby, right? Well, not really. So within the first hour, there was a, a huge spike in protein synthesis, all right? It rose big time, all right? And it continued to elevate all the way up to two hours. But then after two hours, it started to drop pretty dramatically. It, it, it came all the way back down to basically baseline all the way up until six hours. So you sell this big spike, came down nothing for the next four hours, even though they continued to infuse. So what does this tell us? Well, it tells us there's, there's kind of a refractory period of being able to increase protein synthesis. So when you hear people say that you should eat every two to three hours and get protein in because you wanna make sure you're getting as many protein spikes as possible, that's not necessarily the, the best way to go. And I might even argue that that's a kind of a bad way because you might be missing out on increases in protein synthesis. If you can't elevate again for a certain amount of time and you're hitting protein during that period, you're not gonna get those increases. So really, in my mind, if you have two hours of increasing and then maybe another two or three hours after that where you can't increase again, well, maybe we should be looking at eating every four, five, or six hours, all right? I mean, that's kind of basically what I would usually recommend is, is three to five spikes in protein synthesis about four to six hours apart every single day would be kind of my general consensus. Now, obviously, there's, there's things that factor into this. There's things that, you know, your, your own schedule, what you can possibly do, how, how long you're awake, obviously, you know, when, you, when you're gonna be eating, all that type of stuff. But I think at a minimum, you wanna make sure you're getting three good spikes in, in leucine throughout the day. If you can get four or five, I think that's gonna be better. The more you can take advantage of that leucine threshold, I think the better results you'll pro probably get from those meals. All right, so bottom line, my recommendation for meal frequency, making sure that you're getting enough protein to increase protein synthesis and get the maximum amount you can, 
Eat every four to six hours, three to five times per day. Make sure you're trying to hit the leucine threshold at each meal if possible and go from there. Now, again, this does not trump your total numbers. It's just a recommendation. I'm not saying that it's the be all end all. I just think it's a good place to start if you have all the other stuff down first and you want to kind of get the next five, 10%, this is a good place to start. All right, any questions, let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm addicted to the love that you're giving Every minute, every day I've been craving